Hi guys, welcome to Narishai Technologies. This is Subraju. Another video session on cascading style sheets mechanism. In this video session, we will work on selectors. What is a selector? What is the duty of the selector? Why selectors are mandatory in CSS? Really, selectors are mandatory topic because a few drawbacks in HTML, a few drawbacks in CSS are recovered in the name of selectors. What is that? Generally in programming languages, there is a flexible available that is only code reusability. The same flexibility in HTML not available because it is a markup language. Due to the reason, same code repeatedly we are copying or repeatedly we are doing. To avoid that, we are using selectors. What is the function duty? Code reusability. What is selector duty? Styles reusability. That is all. That is a simple definition. Write a group of styles one time, call multiple times with the name of selector. Selector name generally available any tag name or customization name or user defined or any kind of name we can provide at except head section. We will try to observe that. There are the different definitions also I made here. A selector is a chain of one or more simple selectors separated by combinators means special characters available. Types of selectors, there are the different types of selectors available. Type selectors, tag selectors, ID selectors, class selectors, grouping selectors, universal selectors, descendant selectors, customized selectors, number of. Among these selectors, most important things are ID class. But I will provide one overview, then I will come to ID and class also. Let me explain first tag selectors. Tag selectors are popularly known as type selectors. As I said, body level, any tag we can use as selector. I hope you remember in my first video session, I made very clearly selectors. Means in CSS syntax, selector, property, value. Property value combination is equal to declaration. So, this is in first video session already shown to you. Please refer that. Now, tag selectors. Any, a type selector matches the name of the document language element type. Any element we can use. This is a syntax of the selectors. So, simple syntax of the selector this is. So, in this syntax, very clearly available selector and different different styles and open close declarations come to practical approach of that i am i am taking h1 selector already existing yesterday's program and i am giving simply only color i want hash only blue color i want so now i am taking out simple i am saying h1 i said welcome to selectors write h1 i made h1 i made and refresh welcome to selectors if you want a tag selector means tag selectors you can write so this is a simple one this one you can use any number of times like a function once you declared multiple times you are using any number of times we can use so this is already completed one in the last video session also but that time specifically name i didn't define now in this video session i am defining it is tag selector or type selector but one time you declared selector again must not be declared then you need to use another name. Yes, I am giving another color. 
same color you can give multiple times no issue but name we must not be right h2 i am giving right you can observe now practically one three second separate now i want to do that once again right h3 i want to use a little bit differently this right and h3 again h3 right this is the select as information for example you want to make these three selectors group grouping selectors only one condition is all internal properties must be equal including value property equal color 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 but value is not equal so you want to do that means for example same value here available here available here available now that time h1 comma h2 comma h3 and remaining you can remove it these are called grouping selectors so grouping selectors condition only one internal properties and values must be same then you can group so here already made it is a kind of grouping grouping selectors right next one tag selectors type selectors and tag type grouping selectors next one id selectors first i am giving condition what is an id selector remember that id selector must not be duplicate if duplicated first one only affected when you are working with javascript in css id selector if you duplicate also it reflect but when we are calling with the scripting problem will come that is a reason id selector represented by hash it must be only once right definition we can see id selector is used to specify a style for a single unique element the id selector uses id attribute of the html element and defined as hash and you can try to observe the notation hash is the notation or symbol now to work on that here without prefix one syntax i am showing and with prefix another syntax i am showing any one we can write generally in the live environment we are preferring with prefix but both are same working wise there is nothing difference when syntactically it is a stronger now practically we can see i am coming to previous example i removed that and i kept only h1 now i am giving simply hash if i am running this will be succeeded no because id you are not mentioned you declared h1 h1 declared you declared id where you mentioned your id so that is a reason if you run there is no use that time you can call as id equal to that selector name perfect now then you have a doubt here h1 already available h1 ending again id is equal to h1 used yes your prefix is not there when prefix not available you can use any prefix not problem for example your prefix available that you must use h2 i kept okay keep no problem even though it is affected okay font size also you want to see right no problem font size 30 pixels red and refresh affected now for example here i used paragraph okay prefix yes affected so here prefix available now the prefix name is for example h2 can i keep definitely can keep any name body level now is a program success or failure yes you are correct it is failed because here prefix is h2 here prefix is paragraph that is a reason failed so you need to understand that very clearly right from scratch onwards 
where prefix where prefix not available now for example selector name is h1 can i keep h1 as a prefix definitely we can keep no issue h1 and h1 close right for example color also i am changing for effective understanding perfectly effective no, no. yes so this is not tag selectors welcome to id selectors now for example same id i duplicated it is not valid first of all when id selectors available id selectors duplicated but the definition i said unique unique in the sense two times you said this is not unique so id selectors must not be duplicate if duplicated what happens yes output came no so what is the reason id selectors must be unique now no problem when we are implementing script on that problem will be affected because one id not available for more than one tag or one element simple definition or simple example is one hall ticket number sharing two students not no same like that is a ditto so never duplicate and again you people are asking sometimes me and the affecting affecting here affecting but when we are implementing script not that programmatically we can see definitely right now id is equal to for example h1 should not be right you can use now now welcome to id selector no sorry second statement not affected why means id is not there why id is not there id must be unique that is the reason one time i wrote right come down that same thing the property of copy paste h2 i used selector name h2 and there is no prefix right id is equal to h2 i said then i made 20 pixels i made color also green right refresh perfectly affected so come to know what is an id selector it is a common type all selectors but don't duplicate it that's all this is id selector we can group id selectors also for example these internal properties these are these internal properties anyone both are equal i made already grouping selectors condition only one internal properties and values must be equal right now both are equal then comma hash h2 id selector h2 come on refresh now both will be valid this is called grouping id selector a perfect grouping id selector simple effectively we have seen id selectors information with javascript definitely we can see let me complete first class selectors also class as well as id selectors difference only one class can be duplicate id must not be duplicate class indicates with period generally people are calling dot dot is not correct period now we can see that class selectors definition once it is used to specify a style for a group of elements the class selector uses the html class attribute and defined with a period and selector syntax available syntax 1 as well as syntax 2 perfectly the syntax is working and now go to experiment we'll do experiment now i am removing this simply paragraph before a period yes class selector and now anyone affected yes you know already no one affected because class equal to paragraph we need to write and welcome to class selectors right only first one affected second one not affected because class selector are not implemented again class is equal to p i am saying definitely affected no doubt in that change this one also without confuse as a class 
So, this is class, class selectors. Now, okay, two times you duplicated. Then question is there with you people generally. The question is, ID you duplicated, affected and you said ID must not be duplicate. Class selectors you duplicated, affected. That means class selectors we can duplicate. Yes, one name control available any number of times in the web page. But one ID control, one time only available. At least think that. Great. I hope you understood. Now, I am coming back. Same class with the prefix I am implementing. The prefix is nothing but I am taking simply one div. Write div before paragraph I am using. Yes, no problem. This is not the name. Here, here class name, here is a prefix. We can use no problem. Now, come down and here I am using 30 pixels and even another property also I am assigning font family, font family, the home I said. Excellent. Now, I came back and this is class, class is equal to D. Anyone prefix, here what available prefix, paragraph available. Here prefix what available, which one? Sorry, flap. Here what is a prefix? No one. So, that time H1, no problem. When prefix not available, anyone we can use. Available, that must use. So, paragraph, only paragraph. Yes, now both perfectly affected. Welcome to class selectors. So, this is what exactly a perfect adjustment of the selectors. Perfect working of the selectors. So, ID class can be group class definitely again same condition what that one all internal properties and values same we can group by comma separator and remove immediately that then affect this that style affecting to both areas. These are called class grouping selectors. So, tag type ID, ID grouping, class, class grouping. So, grouping selectors indirectly explain. For example, customization. No, I want for example, in my project, I want a menu. That is all. This is my class name I want, menu. So, menu is the class name you want and customize the selector and same menu you are using here, same menu you are using here. Yes, M E N U. Actually, menu is not a tag, same menu you are using. I want menu purpose when selected. Yes, refresh, affecting or not, you only check it. Perfectly affected. So, this is these are called customized selectors. As per the requirement, we are developing. Now, for example, I required not only menu. For example, I am a Nareshai Technologies I am taking. So, Nareshai Technologies tag, not tag actually, this is a selector name, customize selector name, right? Nareshai Technologies, I said, and I am using here font also. I am changing, right? Refresh now, check it you only. Perfect. So, but previous padding, now padding difference available, okay? Right, that I will discuss with you very clearly. But right now, customize selector means any name we can use. So, this is about your selectors. Selectors main point is code reusability. We must not say actually that one. Styles reusability because CSS is a stylish language to apply styles on the web page. That is the reason we can say like that. Thank you for watching my videos. For more videos, log on to youtube.com slash Naresh IT.